Dear students, hope you are all doing well. By the grace of Almighty, this is Shibroy, student teacher English, Ibrahim Mabriel, Shikani Katon, Birgons, Dinaspur. Dear students, today I am going to take a class on right form of verbs. This is my fourth class of right form of verbs. Previously, I have already taken three classes on it. If you miss it, so you are highly requested to watch those videos. Okay, so let's begin our class. In my first class, I have already given an idea about number and person. Which subject, which, uh, how many numbers are there, how many persons are there. Okay, after that, I have given some rules of right form of verbs. Just like that, in my first rule, I told you that if the uh, subject is in the singular form, then the verb will be in the singular form. After that, I told you that if the subject is in the plural form, and then, then the verb will be a plural. Okay, just like that, I have told you that uh, be, if we find any gap after am is or was or then the verb will be in the form of ing. Later on, I told you that if we find any gap after have as had, then we will make it v3 form. That means verb past participle form. Later, I told you if we find any two preposition, we. After two preposition, the verb takes the base, takes its base form. That means B1 form. Later, I told you that if we find two plus B, then we will make it in the V3 form. That means verb past participle form. After that, I give you some idea about uh, modal auxiliary verbs. Which are modal auxiliary verbs? That's like can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would. What we will do? If any gap or even verb comes after those modal auxiliary verb will make it simply in the form of v1 okay and if we find that after modal auxiliary verb that means can be may be shall be will be, what will be in the form what will be the form of it the verb will be in the form of v3 that means if we find any the word b then we'll make it part verb past participle hope you understand my previous three classes okay now i am taking the class number four okay in class number four we'll uh, we'll learn uh, rules of or not either or neither not we'll learn about uses of those words in a sentence okay I am writing a sentence here he or his brother he or his brother after that this before absent I write down a sentence that he or his brother dash we need to uh, put the right form of B that means uh, I have probably told you that B verbs are am is are was were so we need to put here we need to fill the gaps by using am is are was were okay so the rule sorry the rules is that if we find any word like or 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 is here work as connector or conjunction if we find or and that are conjuncted with two singular subject or conjuncted with two singular subject he is a singular subject his brother is another singular subject if we find those words and they are used to conjuncted with two singular subjects then the verb will be in the form of singular so what is this singular subject the rules is that singular subject plus those words plus or nor or object nor then again singular subject subject then the verb takes the form of singular then the verb singular Learn. If we find or or nor and they are conjuncted 
the conjuncted the conjunct to singular subject then the verb will be singular so what are the singular b verbs the singular b verbs are is or was as i have previously told you if you want to uh, make the sentence in present tense then you, you will use is and if you want to make or the passage is about past form then past tense then you will was you will use was so the sentence is that he or his brother is oblique was absent that means he or his brother was absent okay i'm going for the next sentence the next sentence is <coughs> so you have understand it so if we find those words are conjuncted with two singular subject then we'll make the uh, verb in a form of singular okay i'm writing another sentence here is that either the pen or the paper revolve on the table i wrote down a sentence that either the pen the pen or the paper dash on the table okay so you see that again or is conjuncted with two singular subject either the pen or the paper is single that means both subjects are singular so what will be the verb form the verb will be in the form of singular verb will be in the form of singular i have already told you that what are the singular b verb are the singular b verb are is or was either the pen and the paper was is or was on the table hope you understand it <coughs> later on and either or neither will be in the form of a sentence and or or nor or or nor will conjuncted those two singular subject hope you understand it okay now we are going for the next one now we are going for the next one we'll uh, now we'll discuss of another rules of or or nor in my, in this class we have learned that if or or nor conjuncted two singular subjects then we'll make the verb singular but i am writing another sentence is that he or his sorry he or his friends he or his friends do the work uh a few minutes ago i told you that if we find or or nor with two singular subject then we will make the verb singular but in this sentence you are seeing that he is a singular one it's okay but his friends is not a is not a singular one it's a plural itself this means his friends that's been his many friends two or three maybe two maybe three maybe three pluses plus okay so we are seeing that the previous rule is not matching with this sentence so what is the next rule of it if we find one singular and another one is plural so what will do it if we find one singular or another plural then we will make the verb plural the so the rules is that singular subject subject singular singular plus or oblique nor plus subject plural subject plural if we find that the one is singular and another one is plural so what we will do it we will make the verb in the form of plural we will make the verb in the form of plural so the first rule was that 
if the two if the sub, two subjects are singular then the verb will be singular the next one is that if one one of two between if one of two uh, if two if we find one subject singular and another one is plural then we will make the verb in the form of plural then we will make the verb of plural so he or his friends do the work we are seeing that here we need to change the verb do so you know i have already told you that if we find any verb with s or es verb is verb plus s es or i e s it is what is this it is singular singular if we find any verb with s es or i es then it will be singular and if we find any verb without s es or i es then the verb will be in the form of plural so here do is a plural one okay do verb here do verb is plural so we can do it he or his friends do the work he or his friends do the work and another in a, we can we can solve it in another way that he or his friends have done the work he or his friend have done the work so the thing is that among have has had have has had here has is a plural one has is a has sorry has is a singular one but have is a plural one so as we need to make the verb plural that's why i use here have that's why i use here have as we know that if or or nor are co is conjuncted with two one singular subject and another one is plural then the verb will be plural as we are seeing that he or his friends do the work he or his friends have done the work hope you have understood it okay okay so i am going for the next one so i am going for the next one <coughs> neither she nor her <coughs> sisters sister uh, come to the party what is it neither she nor her sister neither she nor her sisters neither she nor her sister sorry sisters need to make it plural neither she nor her sister we need to put the right form of come in this sentence come to the party previously a few minutes ago we have learned that if nor or or conjuncted with one singular subject and another one is plural here's her sisters maybe two three or four so the verb takes the form of plural neither she nor her sister what will do it will make it plural a few minutes ago i told you that if we find any verb with s e or i e s then the verb will be singular so we need to put the verb without s e s or i e s so we need to put here come simply come neither she nor her sister come to the party we can do it and in another way neither she nor her sister have come neither she nor her sister have come to the party hope you understand it 
so my uh, my today's first rule was that if we find or or nor, nor conjuncted with two singular subjects then the verb will be singular but in this rule you are seeing that if or or nor are conjuncted with one singular and one plural then the verb will be plural hope you understand it so i am now i am going for the next one <laughs> now i am going for the next one this trend with board number 5 number 5 so i told you that the first the rule one is two singular subject verb singular one singular one plural verb plural now i am writing it that either he or i dash present <laughs> either he or i dash b or that we need to we need to put or we need to put here the be right form of right be verb okay so you are seeing that the uh, i told you that if we find that several kinds of person are used in a sentence that's why we are seeing that here he he is a third person he is a third person the letter one is i i is first person first person if we see that several persons are used or conjuncted with or or nor if we say that that uh, different persons are used in a sentence and they are conjuncted with or then we will follow the next one then we will follow the next one you are seeing that or or, or here is conjuncted with he or i he is a third person and i is a first person so what we will do it we will do it we will make the be verb in the form of single the will follow the last one we will hardly follow we will follow the last one or later one if we find several persons are used or conjunct with or or nor then we will follow the last one that's why we will follow here i that's why we will follow here i so uh, i takes only i takes the be verbs of am or was so what will we write it here we can write here am or was either he or i was present hope you understand it so what is the rules is that if we find if we find several person are conjuncted with or then we will follow the last one then follow the last one i am giving one another example is that <coughs> uh number 6 neither neither you or she do neither uh, you or she the, okay neither you or she do you uh, do the work neither you or she do the work i have told you that we are seeing the her you is a second person and she is a third person so as our rules is that if uh, uh, if several persons are conjunctive or then the verb will follow the last one so she takes on always she is a, as she is a singular uh, as she is a singular subject or third person singular number then we will make the verb singular then we will make the verb singular we all know that if we add s or es then the verb takes the form of singular so we make it singular neither you or she does the verb hope you understand it okay dear students i have uh, today i have discussed about three rules of or or nor either or neither, neither nor now i am giving you some homework that you can practice yourself at your home please write it down on your exercise book
okay dear students now i am give you some homework that you can do at your home by yourself number 1 is either brimu and shimu do the work later on neither himu and neither himu and her sisters himu and her sisters river present the neither himu and her sister are present number 3 you or i go to school you are saying that neither she or sorry she neither she or you before beautiful beautiful lecture one he or his brothers uh he or his brothers make the house he or his brothers dash make the house dear students if we uh, if you carefully uh, saw my class carefully see my class then you can solve those problems by yourself so dear students now i am finish my class wait for my next class till then stay home stay safe thank you see you again